Hey everyone, and welcome back to Cocktail Cards. Today, we're gonna to be showing you how to make the Clover Club Cocktail. Now, this is an absolutely delicious drink, and it's beautiful to boot, so it's pretty fun to really make for friends and family as well. All right, so the tools that we're gonna to need to make this drink, we're gonna need our shaker, a pint glass, a strainer, we're gonna need a jigger to measure out our alcohol, a juicer, and we're gonna be serving this cocktail in a coupe glass, but you can also use a martini glass. All right, for the ingredients for this cocktail, this is gonna be a gin cocktail. Uh, next, we're gonna have an egg for our egg white, and we're also gonna have lemon so we can have fresh squeezed lemon juice. Now, the last ingredient for this cocktail is going to be a raspberry syrup. And in fact, let's go ahead and jump right in and show you how to do it. So in order to make the raspberry syrup, we're gonna take two cups of raspberries, we're gonna throw them in a pot with four cups of water, and we're just gonna boil this at a medium simmer for about 20 minutes. All you have to do throughout the process, just skim off any foam that rises to the top. Uh, you want to get a nice, pure, clean syrup at the end. So after about 20 minutes, just strain your berries from the leftover juice and toss those raspberries. Next, we're gonna add two cups of sugar uh, to the leftover juice. We're just gonna throw that in a saucepan and let it boil for about five minutes. Just remember to stir throughout the five minutes, kinda help that sugar dissolve, make sure none of it gets burnt in the process. Now, once it's done cooking, go ahead and turn off your heat and move it off the burner and just let it come to room temperature. Once it's at its temperature, uh, you can go ahead and bottle it in either a glass bottle or a squeeze bottle. And this should be good for about two to three weeks. All right, now that we got the syrup out of the way, let's go ahead and build this cocktail. So we're gonna grab our pint glass and we're just gonna throw all of our ingredients into the pint glass. So we're gonna go ahead and start with one and a half ounces of our gin. All right, next we're gonna take a lemon. We're gonna squeeze out three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Next, we're gonna add three quarters of an ounce of our fresh raspberry syrup. All right, lastly, we're gonna add our egg white. Now, instead of cracking it into this glass, what is best to do is kind of crack it in a separate glass or a separate tin in case you get any egg yolk, you don't wanna to have to toss your drink. So we're just gonna crack one egg white into our tin. All right, once we got our egg white all sorted out, we're just gonna take our cocktail here and pour it right into our tin. All right, give it a nice seal and we're gonna give this a dry shake for about 30 seconds. So giving this drink a dry shake for 30 seconds, it's gonna help the egg white get nice and creamy and emulsify into the cocktail. Um, just gives you a really awesome, nice, foamy, creamy texture. You can check it, it should be nice and creamy at this point. Next, we're gonna go ahead and fill up our pint glass with ice. All right, we're gonna take this ice and go ahead and throw it right into our drink. And now we're gonna give it a normal shake for about eight to 10 seconds to chill the drink down. All right, we're gonna grab our coupe glass and go ahead and break the seal on this guy. We're gonna grab our Hawthorne strainer and I also like to use a fine mesh strainer here so we can double strain this cocktail, leave out any ice shards that might have broken off while shaking it. So we'll go ahead and pour this right into your coupe glass. So at this point, the drink should be nice and creamy. Uh, if you let it sit for a while, it'll actually create a nice layer of separation with the cream on the top and more of a beautiful pink red cocktail on the bottom. Now, as far as garnish for this drink, uh, you could do fresh raspberries, fresh blackberries, 
Um, but I actually like to do a lemon zest for this one. So what we're gonna do is take a vegetable peeler, right? That's kind of all these, all these are. And we're just gonna go ahead and zest a nice slice of lemon here. And this thing is full of essential oils. So all we're gonna do is give it a nice squeeze and let out a bunch of essential oils here. We're just gonna rub it around the glass to get a nice lemon smell and oil flavor on here. Now, this is such a beautiful cocktail. I just like to throw my zest away when I'm done and just leave it how it is. And there you go, the Clover Club cocktail. Mmm, that's so good. The egg white just has this nice creamy texture and it works so well with the fresh lemon juice, the raspberry syrup. It kind of gives you almost like this, almost like you're eating a really delicious fresh raspberry pie kind of thing. It's so delicious. All right, there you have it, the Clover Club cocktail. Thanks for tuning in. My name's AJ with Cocktail Cards. I'll catch you in the next one.